Al Etifak. Jordan Henderson decided it wasn't for him, so he's headed back to Europe and has joined Ajax. Steven Gerrard says, for various reasons, it is for him. And uh, he has had a contract extension and now stays on until 2027. The thing is, the team at the moment just can't seem to win a game having said that Gerard was very much attracted to staying out there no doubt by the lure of 15 million pounds a year Stephen Gerard's been talking about his uh, decision to stay out in Saudi it's a proud moment I think it's recognition of uh, a lot of hard work and commitment since we've come in myself and my staff we've we've lived this round the clock 24 hours we, we knew at the beginning, this was a, a big job, a challenging job. The easy decision would be to stay stay in Liverpool and wait for jobs that are local and maybe work geographically uh, and the logistics uh, are more suitable. But we as a family decided that we wanted something a little bit outside the box. We wanted to challenge ourselves. We wanted to challenge our children. We wanted a different experience. We wanted to go and embrace a different culture. So I suppose what I've learned about myself is more about adapting to a new culture, uh, a new league, making new friends, meeting new people, new situations, facing new challenges. I think that's made me a better person, coach, and also made me mature a bit more as well. Now that, Simon, when you hear that, to be honest, Martin, his reasons are pretty darn solid. And, and obviously people will hear that and think, no, but Ste Stephen, come on. There are 15 million reasons for you wanting to stay out there and they're paying you that per annum. And everybody that says that would make the same decisions because if they were offered 15 million quid to do something, they'd do it. The only thing that I pick up on that is the ridiculous... I don't think he can... I don't know if he can keep a straight face when he says it's a recognition of the hard work and achievements because that's laughable. I mean, it, it, it is laughable. I don't mean to be consistently mean-spirited... But you can't take that sort no, of... Not achievements, commitment. Com well, OK, that's good that you're committed then. Um, because it would be disappointing to think that you weren't committed. Because, you know, obviously going in there and being, you know, half-assed about things is much more preferable. Um, I, I, I can't take that seriously. When you listen to the first sentence and you go, what a ridiculous load of self-indulgent, unaware tripe. The rest of it sort of falls by the wayside. Because you can't take... The when, when someone tells you a fib, you have this tendency in life to never believe another word they say, right? So when someone comes out with that and complete and utter nonsense. But how do you know it's nonsense? Because how could you... What, what's the nonsensical part of it? How can, how can... You get rewarded for achievements, not for hard work and for five months of hard work and for achieving a side that's actually achieving nothing and far less than I would imagine. Unless, of course, the owners of the football club are very happy with a 30% win record from the manager. If that was their blueprint, if they said to him, anything above 25% win record, you get a huge pay rise. If that was the brief then my word has he deserved it. He's been underpaid. But, Simon, you can see what the Saudis are doing. The Saudis want <clears throat> people to be talking about the Saudi Pro League. For the right people reasons, are though. talking about the Saudi Pro League because people like Stephen Gerrard are there. Yes. And, and, and so it's job done from the Saudis' I, point I, of view. I, I entirely understand and applaud the sentiment. There's only one thing worse than people talking about you is people not talking about right. you. And then it becomes what they're talking about you, what they are talking about you. And next thing we're saying is 900 fans in a football stadium... Players that don't want to stay there. Managers getting more money than Premier League winners for managing a team in a Harrods budget with a pub league performance. <laughs> These are the things that we're talking about. If that's what you want to be spoken about, then we can do that dawn till dusk. Of course, we do realise that when you start to make observations that aren't praise related to the Middle Eastern guys, they get all upset about it. Mm. But the facts are the facts. You, you, you've heard Simon Martin. We all have, and, and I expected to, uh, to hear just that. But when you listen to Stephen Gerrard there, do you are you taken in by the commitment line, by the family are happy? It's a challenge for all of us. We're learning more, not just about Saudi Arabia, about life in general well, and I, how to act as mature citizens of think, the planet. I think you, you're trying to hang him out to dry here to a certain extent. I, I do believe in the integrity of Stephen Gerrard. I worked long enough with him. I uh, do feel that he's a, a good guy. He's doing his best. He's in, a, he's in a results business, though, and he's not getting results. So this sort of flies in the face of that because it doesn't make any sense, does it? You know, you're, you're kind of rewarding... Um, say Mediocrity. Failure, but, yeah, you you need to win games. 
that's the he knows he's on borrowed time. The previous two managers have only been in the job short, a short length of time because they lost, you know, games of football. He's lost his assistant manager, Ian Foster. Uh, it, he's, I mean, now, he's now he's now lost his standing. best. He's now lost Henderson. Yeah. So I, I I can understand why they're trying to address that because they don't want everybody suddenly going out the door and they're trying to build this new league. But nonetheless, he, there has to be major improvements. But I don't feel that any of this is necessarily his fault, Jim. And we're sitting here in judgment. What else would you have done? If a radio show starts in Saudi Arabia, that's going to pay you fifteen million pounds. No one's, no one's criticising that. The observation is: if I'm Stephen Gerrard and I have any integrity about me, I would say, "Of course, I'm going to take this money, and of course, I'm going to build this site." And right now, the project isn't where I want it to do or to be. It isn't reflective of the outcomes that I'm trying to put into it, and I'm in a fortunate position. But I'm going to repay the faith that's in me, rather than some tripe about how hard I've been working. And how wonderful you feel that you're adjusting as a human being to the society that you're in. If that's the project the Saudis wanted, they wanted a mouthpiece for how wonderful their society is, well, this is well, a wonderful opportunity he, for them to have it. Is that a sporting project then? Because we're being led well, to believe... He, he can't talk about the money, project. he'll be on the next plane home, won't he? Second? So he, he, he has to tow the company line. He, if he talks about money... That's and not he's towing only, the company line. That's, he's, not, he's, that's, he's, not, that's not, not towing the company line. Yeah, but I think it's if he said he's only there, if he's only the there for the money, then... Who's there for the money? He wouldn't be well, there otherwise, this. would he? We know this, but if he says and it out loud... And that's not a problem. And that's, and that's entirely reasonable. No one has a problem with that. What people have a problem with is Phil Mickelson and his tripe about Live Tour. What people have a problem with, and rightly so, you want your sports stars and your so-called heroes to actually mean what they say and stand for something and have honesty and integrity and authenticity because when people see it, they actually admire it. When people hit, sit there and go, the people that you brought over don't want to be there anymore, the mm. team that you're managing stinks... And you're getting a huge pay rise. Well, when he first went there, he enjoyed an impressive start. Five wins from the club's first seven games of the season. But that has all changed because the form has slumped Al Etifat. They haven't won in the last eight and he's got a lot to do. But £15 million a year will surely help him do that job. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.